Paul, good morning. I um, just want to welcome everybody to the Clyde Best Center of Excellence. Um, we're here to, to talk about the Bermuda International Football Festival that um, Mr. Uh, Rick Richardson, who is the chair of the committee, has uh, put together. Uh, let me just say that it's fantastic for us to be able to, um, again, partner with another like-minded organization to help further develop the game of Bermuda. To my left, we have our, our uh, legend, Mr. Clyde Bass, who this building is named after. Um, certainly a legend in Bermuda, certainly a legend in West Ham. Um, also, we have the under-20 um, national coach, Mr. Ray Jones, technical development director, Mr. Maurice Lowe, and the man of the hour, um, Mr. Rick Richardson. We want to say that the Football Festival Committee, of which I'm chairman, we can release today the schedule for the opening matches of our first, we call it a friendly international tournament, a tournament designed to give our young men an opportunity to match their skills against their peers from other jurisdictions. They will measure their level of preparedness for international competitions and to interact with persons from different cultural backgrounds. Essentially, it should also serve to assist our coaches as they endeavor to prepare our youngsters for overseas tournaments. So we can say that the Round Robin Tournament opens at the National Sports Center Monday, May 7th with the Bermuda Football Association Under-19, Under-20 Academy team going against the visiting West Ham United Under-19, Under-20 Academy team. That game will kick off at 6.30 p.m. and will be followed by the match between the visiting Sao Miguel under-19, under-20 select, and it's a mixture, and the Bermuda League select. Before we go any further, uh, Bob Camara of the uh, Azores select team is on the line. Bob, um, you've at this point put together a combination uh, of players uh, some uh, overage players uh, because of availability and and a number of those younger. Tell us a bit about that. Uh, well, first, hello, and uh, let me express my thanks, uh, my many thanks, for the opportunity that has been given to us to be able to uh, participate in this festival, in this tournament that I hope um, is very successful because from the effort that you're putting into it, it has to be successful. Nonetheless, uh, we've had one training session tonight. We'll have our second training session, and hopefully we'll get three or four under our belts before we travel. And um, I'm hoping that we can be very competitive uh, because, as I started, you deserve that the tournament be a very competitive one because the work that I've been uh, given to see is tremendous, and uh, we hope that we can contribute with, uh, with competitiveness, but we surely will contribute with fair play. And hopefully this will be um, this will be the, the latter for for the future. Considering considering our country's uh, history, uh, I think it'll be it'll bode well for us to to foster a, a greater relationships through this wonderful game of football. Exactly, I think uh, it's very well thought on your part. Um, the heritage is there. Um, there are many things that we're alike because we're islanders for one. Um, there are the Azorians living in Bermuda, but as, as a whole, people that live in one place and the other have many common, many things in common uh, because what first, first, I mean, most of all, we're islanders and that brings a whole set of unique features to, uh, to the people that, are, that live under that condition. Um, I think it bodes well. Um, let's see if the um, the sports part of it that I, I'm really hoping that we can do a good job and really um, contribute to elevate your festival. We have been in touch certainly throughout. They are very excited ab about uh, coming here and and their government folks are, are getting involved and they're looking forward to establishing closer ties. They're looking for this kind of development also. So the second round of fixtures on Wednesday, the 9th, will be played at the BA field with matches we're scheduling uh, earlier, 5.30 p.m. and 8 p.m. Those matches will be free to students and seniors. We have scheduled those matches earlier to allow the visiting teams to experience the cultural mix 
at uh, Harbour Nights in Hamilton. For, for the media, we have attached the full schedule, and at this point, um, the technical director, the coach, and uh, Clyde Best, we'd like to hear a bit from, from your guys, uh, President Wade. Well, first of all, I think it's a, a great um, idea to put a tournament of its magnitude on. Um, I think it's important for our kids to have uh, opposition to be able to play against and what better way to do it with a team from the Azores and West Ham. I'm probably a bit partial to West Ham because that's my former club and I've always liked the way that we done things when it comes to our young players. So for our kids to be able to compete against uh, a lot of the younger players, you know, it's going to give them a good insight on what they need to do to probably elevate the game to another level. So I think it's a great opportunity and all I can say to our kids, take advantage of the opportunity because you never know where it could lead you. And um, it's going to be better for us as a country if we can do more things like this for our athletes and, you know, especially our football players because, hey, the sky's the limit right now and anybody that knows football, you just look and see what's going on around the rest of the world. You know, it's a big, big sport. So even though we're a small country, we still can compete, you know, at that level. You know, we just need to take the right steps and do the right things. And I think this is a step in the right direction. So let's, let's hear from the technical director. Sure. This is a phenomenal opportunity uh, for us to, to be able to get our under 20s to get some preparation ahead of the CFU and CONCACAF um, championships later on this, this year. And even more so to have this competition here in Bermuda. It was interesting that we were listening to uh, Robert yeah. uh, from the line just now where some of the challenges that, that he intimates uh, we have <laughs> ourselves um, you know, for this age group yes. and then particularly um, this, this time of year as well. But we've been able to put together a, a, a strong sport and it gives us an opportunity against stiff opposition to, to be able to get some preparation and see just where some of our players are. So in terms of our preparation, we did have our players in over the, the Christmas break, we did do some physical and technical assessments with them, um, so it'll be good to now see them in match play versus some strong opponents. Yes, good afternoon. Um, first of all, very thankful to the Bermuda International Football Festival Committee. Um, as uh, the technical director stated earlier, um, we've been trying to work with these boys in preparation of the upcoming um, commitments. Um, and it has been a struggle with, I would say, 80% of the squad being overseas based for good reasons, um, college, prep school, and also some of them just trying to pursue their football dreams. So this came along at the, I would say, ideal time as we were able to assemble a squad of about 20 players that will be coming in to participate so that we can actually measure where they are um, as the TD highlighted. Uh, we basically told them because they're located in all other jurisdictions, they're going to have to do some self-training and self-evaluation so that when they do come back into training camp, we can measure them against the original um, evaluation we did back in December. So we're thankful for the matches, but while, we're, we're, while they're here, we'll be doing more technical and physical assessments because it'd be the second time we would have had them as a group. And um, I'm very thankful for the quality of opposition. Uh, this group, we have set a goal that the minimum accept acceptable success would be at least doing what the previous under 20 has done. So this bird's in the right direction of giving us some real stiff quality opposition to see exactly where we are and how much more work we need to do before we actually get into full qualification there. There's, a, there's another interesting aspect to this. Um, there are those in the medical field and some attached to Bermuda but uh, who are overseas. Uh, Bermudian doctor, uh, basically related to, to Mr. Clyde Best here, um, and a, a young doctor who will come in 
uh, for the, the tournament and he will be at the tournament's disposal and he wants to basically look at not just from a point of, of um, sports injuries but rehab, he wants to look at the physical condition particularly of our players and how they're getting on and will talk to our coaches uh, as, as this person is a specialist in the field right now. Perhaps uh, Clyde can, can just give us a little more on that. The doctor's name is uh, Dr. Elwood Fox. Um, his dad was a staunch uh, player with um, Devonshire Colts. That's where he started at um, PHC Zebras. Um, Elwood has been away for the last 30 years studying um, medicine, and um, he's uh, finally decided to come home and give something back to Bermuda. And in our early discussions, when he was very, very young, what we always said that we'd like to do and it's nice to see him uh, coming back to be able to do that and he played soccer himself, he went to school at um, Work Academy and um, played on the football team there, I think he played a bit with Somerset Eagles so he knows a bit about the game as well so it's just nice to have him back here and being involved and to the coaches you know feel free to ask him what questions you want, as I said he's a big believer in rehab um, so, you know, it's a great chance for the coaches and our young players as well to uh, pick his brain. You know.